everyone. This is Julie from Hawaiian Beach Walk and I hope you're having a great day today. Today I wanted to share with you a gift card um, card for, um, for men. And I wanted to show off this wonderful designer series paper set. This is called Wood Textures Designer Series Paper. It's six by six and it gives just a great variety of wood textures. It's says the name says right um, but these are great to be able to use for outdoor and gentleman cards and things like maybe camp for camping and even with Christmas and so anyway so I wanted to um, share this with you today and so we're gonna begin um, with just some brown card stock and this piece here it starts with uh, an 11 by eight and a half and then I have scored it at five and a half and scored it again at four and a quarter. And what we do is we cut away this shape that's over here. Okay, so I've cut away because we have end up having four squares. I cut this away and then, which would go like this, okay. And then what I've done is I have taken this piece here I measured about one inch from the end and I just marked it on the paper and then I'll show you what I do. This is with my trimmer. So this had a mark here and I just line it up with the channel and then I do a cut. Okay, so that's all that I do and that's how it gets me this. And this is going to be our flap on the card. Okay, so our card's gonna go like this, open, and in here we will insert a, um, another piece, another card piece where you can put your greeting and write your note and then also attach a gift card to it. To attach a gift card, I just usually use uh, one glue dot and then that way um, the person is able to take it off or like repositional tape um, just use that and then they can they can take it off easy um, to be able to make use of the card. All right, so what I've done is I've taken the designer series paper. I chose this piece. I really liked it. And this piece is um, four by five and a quarter. Okay, and so I'm just going to attach this here. Okay, and I'm going to use my multi-purpose glue. You know, I always find that um, you'll see me as I do my videos. I'll just kind of like grab the top, and I'm usually able to take off the uh, the dried glue that's at the top. If that, um, if you still have trouble, then you can use your paper piercer to try and open up the um, the opening of the bottle. Um, you don't want to cut it though, because you want to be able to keep that fine tip to be able to do your more precise gluing. Okay. There we go. Oops. There. Got it. Okay. So that's our that's the front piece for that. Then what I'm going to do, I decided that, you know, I can use this um, if I want to use it for Christmas, which, you know, you can put any greeting on the front. Um, but today I was going to use this uh, just a little bit more of a general, so I uh, have a general purpose. So I chose the stamp set, You're So Sweet, and I'm going to use the Just For You. And I'm going to use the Early Espresso. When I have big stamps, I usually take the stamp pad to the stamp. There we go. Okay, this piece here is uh, two by four, okay? And I'm just going to try and center that the best that I can. And excuse my fingers all full of ink and so forth. I've been busy crafting this morning. Okay, mm, I did that a little bit crooked. Let's try that one more time. Let's see if I can get it a little bit better this time. Okay, let's try again. Still a little off, but 
we're gonna cut it out anyway, so that should be fine. All right. But I wanna leave a little bit of the, um, the trim on the outside. So I'm just gonna be carefully cutting that. Sorry, when I do when I do precise work, I'm like, I don't really talk very much. <laughs> I'm concentrating, yeah. Okay. I was trying to think, you know, it's like it's so hard sometimes to um, find for your gentleman presents and gifts. And so I thought, you know, I need to make one. There we go. Okay. So now that I'm going to put in the front. Let me get rid of some of this extra pieces. We don't need those anymore. And let me see if I have some dimensionals. I think I might have a few here. I, have a, I try and use them all. As you can see, these are kind of like my what's scrap pieces that are left. Yeah, the edges, but I try not to waste anything. Make use as much as possible. Let's see. I'll cut that one off. Because you know, it works, right? Okay. I'm going to put this one right in the front. So now we're going to do the inside here. Now, as far as the um, the piece right here, this I'm going to use um, some double-sided tape, the tear and tape. Okay. And if I can find the end, there we go. <laughs> so I find that you're going to want to put this tape on this part and keep that straight now of course we have this little extra that we're going to trim that off yeah I think this afternoon I'm going to have to give a good cleaning to my scissors you know they do get gummed up some as you're using tape and glue and so forth and uh, so you just, I just take an alcohol wipe and give them a good wipe down and they're good to go Let's see, it seems to be a little bit a little bit of tape left there there we go all right and the reason why i'm using the tear and tape um like i wouldn't use the snail um because it really needs to have uh some really good adhesive and holding there you could use the glue, um, but it might seep out more and take up more space than what you have uh, available to be able to use. Okay, so then on the inside of this card, sorry, I think I've been moving you guys all around here, yeah? <laughs> sorry about that. Um, the inside of this card, I have this piece that I'm going to put over here for decoration. And that piece is two inches by four and a quarter and I think it's just a tad bit longer than that but I'll trim that off after I glue it on that way you can make sure that it's um, that it's good and it matches perfect Then I'm going to make the card that's going to go in the inside. So this is going to tuck inside here. And then you can place your gift card on this card. Okay, so with this one, uh, this piece here is a five by four. And then this white piece is four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to place a strip of this paper um, which is going to be um, three quarters, I think it's by four inches, but I have to trim some off here. But you know, after all is said and done, this is the only thing that I had left from one sheet of a six by six. So I was pretty happy to make use of all the paper. Um, and then I'll keep this, I can put a sentiment um, 
on regular cardstock on top and this can be an accent piece in the back so anyways um, let me attach this on make sure that you cut this before you put this down on the brown paper okay otherwise that little extra piece is going to stick to the brown paper you don't want that I said I'll put like a gift card right here okay and then I'm going to take this little strip you know, like I I've mentioned I think in other videos or maybe it was on the Facebook live I really do keep like all my scraps um, so this piece here I believe is about a half inch and I'm probably going to use about four inches um, length of this so what I'm going to use now is a sentiment sending you love always okay and I'm just going to stamp this on here I'm just kind of looking at it real quick okay so I'm going to use the espresso again actually it's called early espresso make sure I give you the right name okay and then we're going to stamp Okay. And this came from the Sunshine Sayings set. set. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over here, but I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to flag it to make it a flag. And now what I'm going to use, instead of you seeing me using some larger scissors, um, but now I'm going to use some smaller ones. Actually, I'm going to use these snips. Now these snips you can also get from our Stampin' Up! online store. And I tell you what, they are great for all these little, little details. Do it that way. I like that. So now you can use something like this, or you know, just use the concept for um, any kind of gifts. So for those Christmas gifts that you want to give out as gift cards, this will be perfect. You can place it there. Write your message with the card, your personal message. And there you go, and you're ready to have it. So, you know, please, anytime that we can be of assistance, please let us know. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we would love to be able to help you with all of your crafting needs. You can visit our store at the hawaiianbeachwalk.com, and you will just see um, our Stampin' Up! online store. And we'd be more than happy to help you. Also, for the month of July, this is our hostess code, which is XNXHF3KS. All letters are capitalized. And um, when you do that, you will be getting a special thank you gift. And along with for the month of July, um, for every $50 that are purchased, you will be receiving a $5 reward from Stampin' Up! that you can use in the month of August. 
Um, if your order is over $150, though, do not use the hostess code as you will be able to earn Stampin' Up! rewards that you can claim on your order. Um, but I will still send you a thank you gift, and uh, so make sure that you do not uh, check the no contact. That way your information will come through to me, so I'll be able to send you a thank you gift. Alright, thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day.